Hey guys, Johnny here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Apple Watch SE2 with the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Plus, iPhone 14 Pro, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, plus any other iPhone models as well. So, this is the new Apple Watch SE2. Pretty nice looking watch. So, we will go ahead and start setting it up with the iPhone. So as soon as I bring it close by to the iPhone, it automatically pops up with the setup screen. So let's go ahead and click on continue. From there, you will go ahead and click on set up for myself or set up for a family member. Let's click on set up for myself. Hold. Apple Watch up to the camera. So you will go ahead and hold the Apple Watch in that little hole there where it's saying to hold it up. Alrighty, there you go. Now the Apple Watch is spare. Let's go ahead and set up the Apple Watch. So you'll go ahead and click on your wrist preference, left or right. Click on continue. The iPhone is connecting to your Apple Watch. Go ahead and click on agree. Share with Apple or don't share with Apple the watch analytics. If you want to go ahead and put in a passcode on your Apple watch, you will go ahead and click on create a passcode. You can also create a longer passcode than four digits or you can go ahead and not put a passcode in the watch at all. So we'll go ahead and create a four digit passcode and let's just go ahead and choose something simple for the sake of the video alrighty so now that we have entered the passcode next screen is bold text and size so this is the screen where you can go ahead and choose how big you want the text to be on the watch. So go ahead and choose your text size, click on continue, share settings, OK. The personalized fitness and health, so go ahead and enter your date of birth, your gender, your height, your weight, and your wheelchair status and then click on continue. You can go ahead and set up your fitness app as well. So you can go ahead and skip this step for right now. Workout route tracking. You can go ahead and enable it. Go ahead and also get notifications about your health. Noise, low heart rate, high heart rate, which is a very good function that the Apple Watch has. So we'll go ahead and leave those uh, toggled on there. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Safety. This is also a very, very good function that the Apple Watch has. Emergency SOS, crash detection, and backtrack. So emergency, emergency SOS will go ahead and call the emergency services. Crash detection will go ahead and notify. The watch will actually notify the emergency services near you if you have been in a car crash and then backtrack can record your route in case you get lost so if you're in a new place so let's go ahead and click on continue the app view do you want a grid view or a list view 
So you have the option to go ahead and choose from there, those two options. We'll, so we'll go ahead and choose the grid view for now. Click on continue. And now let's go ahead and click on OK there. And go ahead and choose from here. You can go ahead and customize your watch face from over here. So choose the style of the face you want, the color, and your dial style. You can set up your complications over here. So let's go ahead and choose this color over here. Matches the band. Go ahead and enter the passcode. Click on the little dial right here to access the watch. And there you go, guys. That's how you go ahead and set up your watch with the iPhone. So, guys, if this video helped you, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you would like to give us a super thanks, we would really appreciate it so we can continue to bring you quality content such as the video you just watched. Thank you so much for watching. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.